Hello, dear participants. As an interpreter, I'm speaking on behalf of Dr. Alexa Rokin, PhD and Executive Director of the National Ayurvedic Medical Association of Russia. This course is dedicated to the issues of matching of constitution types in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda. And we are going to discuss the diseases that need special preventive measures. Today's lecture is dedicated to the blood stagnation syndrome, as they call it in traditional Chinese medicine, or kapha pitta vikriti with deficiency of yana vata, according to Ayurveda. Traditionally, we go through some basic notions. Constitution is a complex of a stable structural, anatomic, physiological, and psychological features of the person, which had been formed under the influence of the innate or acquired factors. Why is it important to know the constitution type of the patient? Peculiarities of the constitution type form a tendency to certain pathogenic processes and diseases. Correction of the constitution features allows to prevent development of the disease. Knowing predispositions to diseases, the specialist can perform a preventive treatment, which is the highest level of art of healing. The set of characteristics is determined by a certain combination of three regulation systems or vata, pitta and kapha doshas. They form nine subtypes and the tenth type is an ideal combination or balance of doshas. In the chart of parity of Ayurvedic constitution types and Chinese syndromes, you see the syndrome we are going to discuss today. It is highlighted in red and it is kapha pitta type or blood stagnation in traditional Chinese medicine. What is blood stagnation or kapha pitta vikriti with deficiency of yanavata? It is a complex of constitutional peculiarities formed as a result of the main pathophysiological process of reduction of the linear velocity of blood flow in smaller vessels which leads to stagnation of blood in the peripheral tissues. This circulatory disruption leads to many serious consequences such as energy stagnation. Let's turn to a clinical case. You can imagine that you have a patient visiting. It is a young healthy woman in her 30s who doesn't have any serious complaints and came to see the doctor to get some recommendations on lifestyle and correction. During the inquiry, you'd find out that she regularly uh, has these menstrual pains a couple of days before period starts and within first days of the periods. It happens each month, and the woman thinks that this moderate pain is a normal thing for every woman. During the tongue examination, you ask her to touch the tip of, of, her, of her nose with the tip of her tongue. Thus, you can see the underside of the tongue. You would notice uh, the full blooded tongue wa veins, typical for this person, uh, even in a normal state of health. Then you'd carry out a pulse diagnostics and find out that this woman is of a kapha pitta type. After the examination, your verdict would be blood stagnation, which in its turn may surprise the person. You'd suggest that uh, the regular pains that she has caused by stagnation of blood and advise her to make uh, um, an appointment with a gynecologist. To the woman's surprise, ultrasound test would show that she has a small uterine myoma that was the very reason of the menstrual pain uh, that she has, which is a typical case for people having this syndrome. You'd also have some additional indicators of the syndrome. The patient would claim that her closest relatives have problems with health because of high density of blood. For example, her grandmother has problems with cardiovascular system and was even recommended to, to take some medicines for blood liquefaction. And her mother suffers from varicose veins. You'd also notice that your patient herself has the changes in veins pattern. If we are talking about the balance, on the left you may see the diagram of a healthy person. The blue bar shows the level of yin. The orange bar shows yang. The, the gray bar shows the level of energy uh, or prana. And the yellow bar shows the tendencies of the moving or so circulatory power. On the right diagram, you may see blood stagnation syndrome. Here, yin and yang may be balanced, but there always is a problem with circulation, which would drag down the level of energy. This is from the point of view of traditional Chinese medicine. From the point of view of Ayurveda, we associate the syndrome with a classical kapha pitta constitution type. 
Let's go through the main signs that uh, you identify in a person of this type. Uh, this person would have more brownish face than other people have that indicates the special functioning of the adrenal glucocorticoid apparatus. Dark face with many brownish spots, uh, purple lips, expanded skin veins, bruises and pricking pain. Related signs may be dark circles around the eyes, hair loss, dry skin, painful menses, dark menstrual discharge with clots. Menses are late monthly. Uh, general features of the body may be deterioration of health and increased pains caused by cold, a tendency to the appearance of vascular nodes and skin seals. Psycho-emotional peculiarities would be isolation, love for solitude, anxiety, forgetfulness. Tongue diagnosis would show bluish purple tongue with uh, dot hemorrhages, dilated veins under the tongue. And the palsy diagnosis would show scratching hamsagati pulse with arrhythmia. Let's turn to basics. Why people of Kapha Pitta constitution would have a tendency to blood stagnation? Pure Kapha consists of Prithvi and Jala. Pure Pitta consists of Jala and Agni. Predominant elements in Kapha Pitta combination are water and soil. In the Nidana tab, in the graph of elements, you see the soil element is dominating. It may also be subdominant, but anyway in a leading position. Another important indicator here is the lack of Vayu. Why is it soil that is responsible for stagnation? Let's turn to classical Ayurvedic sources. Strengthening of Prithvi form a strong imbalance of Kapha Dosha with a manifestation of its properties of gravity and static. The excess of Prithvi Bhuta manifests itself in mild coldness, vessel blockage, loss of flexibility, firmness and lack of fluidity. Symptoms include excessive sleep, loss of appetite, feeling of heaviness in the limbs and loss of flexibility. The lack of Prithi um, causes uh, reduced muscle tone, washing out of calcium from the bones and weakness. On the right you can see Vyanavata written in Sanskrit. In excess of Prithi there is no chance for Vyanavata to manifest itself. Vyanavata is a moving force of the body and it is usually called the penetrating and dissolving wind. This uh, sub-regulation system in fact carries out movement of all the con contents of the body including movement of blood. Here is a Chinese uh, hieroglyph of blood stagnation. The blood is in the right and it reminds blood vessels and one must remember that the syndrome is usually followed by Vyanavata issues. And later, when we turn to cardio intervalogram indicators, we discuss the features of those issues. What causes blood stagnation and Vyanavata deficiency? Traditional Chinese medicine claims that blood stagnation is always of an inherited nature. So, according to traditional Chinese medicine, it can be weak bodies of the parents. Ayurveda has a bit more positive point of view of inheritance and see this as an embodied karmic factors which would help you to express all your capacities in the best way. Uh, there are certain professions uh, which suggest regular traumas or constant micro-injuring of parts of the body uh, that can cause the output of blood and its congestion, stimulation of clotting system or hypercoagulability. Also blood stagnation inevitably leads to slackening of circulation. Emptiness of energy basing on the initial vata insufficiency also may cause the syndrome. Influence of pathogenic wind has a freezing and slowing effect for blood. Also, prolonged influence of pathogenic wind causes blood condensation and loss of avalambaka. Uh, another reasons of blood stagnation may be uh, pathologic moist and heat, wetness and fire, moist and wetness, 
uh, which uh, causes a blockage of channels and vessels with disruption of energy and blood circulation. And the last but not the least reason of blood stagnation may seem kind of obvious. It is the lack of physical activity or hyperdynamia. If the person of this constitution type doesn't do yoga, fitness, jogging or any other type of physical activity, it would inevitably lead to development of the syndrome. Diseases of constitutional blood stagnation. Those people may have all the types of diseases that other people have, but for them the diseases would always be accompanied by the triad of signs of blood stagnation. It is pains, uh, tendency to hypercoagulation, and blood circulation disorders. Usually closer to the age of 40, those people get varicose veins of lower limbs. Varicose veins appear not only in the skin but in the organs, such as uh, walls of the colon, for example, organs connected with liver and spleen, which increases the blood volume and causes stagnation. It can also manifest uh, on the level of myocardium. Classically, a chest blockage and coronary heart disease is associated with Kaphapita constitution type. Blood stagnation also causes formation of benign neoplasms. Unfortunately, if the person doesn't take care of his health, it may build the tendency to development of malignant neoplasm. Cerebral circulation insufficiency, which meant uh, those, uh, which means that those people are tend to strokes, uh, both apoplexy of the internal organs and cerebral stroke, and also an ischemic stroke. Cardiointervalogram indicators of blood stagnation syndrome. The first thing we pay attention to is the spectrum tab. High frequency range is dominating in the spectrum. You'd be surprised to find out that the total power goes above 8,000. The first thing that would uh, come into your mind that is the person has a huge stock of energy and it, it is a good thing. But that would be a wrong conclusion because total power aid of above 8,000 is a pathology. Starting 6,000 up to 8,000 is a range of increased adaptive resources. Starting 8,000 and higher is an indicator of the pathological state of Kapha associated with inertia and blood stagnation. It is not a big amount uh, of energy. High frequency is predominant and takes not less than 60 and 70 percent of the spectrum. Very low frequency not more than 10 and 15 percent and low frequency below 10 percent. In a person of the balanced Kapha Vikriti might be some potential blood stagnation tendency which has not developed yet and there is a chance that it would not develop if uh, a person takes some preventive measures. You'd also see domination of high frequency range. If you compare the scales of pathological state of Kapha Pitta and balanced Kapha, you'd see that the scale of balanced Kapha stays within normal range, which is here, for example, equals uh, 383. To conclude, the indicators of blood stagnation in the spectrum tab would be total power about 8000 milliseconds on the background of the increased high frequency values. Time analysis indices in blood stagnation syndrome. An average uh, value would show 950 to 1000 milliseconds. Modal values is situated in the range of Kapha. You also notice that the diagram itself tend to be flat. Variation range is pretty wide of about uh, 420 to 460 milliseconds, which is a predisposition to increase uh, of inertia level. For example, in Vata constitution, this value is near 50 milliseconds. Restoration index is 2.5 conventional units, uh, which shows inertia of restorative mechanism, mechanisms. In yang index uh, is 30 to 40 conventional units, which shows increased inertia and passivity with the axis of yin. Adequacy 
adequacy index below is below 20, which reflects high demands and high nerd cap capability. And centralization index is above six uh, conventional units, which reflects the amplification of the autonomous circuit regulation. Integral indices. You'd see that there is an extremely low level of stress, which means that people of this type have a slow reaction to stress. Level of stress is uh, drowning down below 30, which indicates the inertia of the mechanisms of adaptation to stress. The wide range of norm is from 30 to uh, 200. Vata organism tends to overreaction to stress and it causes emaciation of adaptation resources. In Kapha type, adaptation is also problematic due to the inability to direct resources uh, to combat stress. Thus, in Vata type, there are no adaptation resources that might be used. In Kapha type, there is no ability to direct resources that are in vast. Adaptation price index goes down to 15%, which is also not norm, as the wide range of norm starting from 15 to 50%. And more functional state index has a tendency to decrease. Pulse characteristics in blood stagnation syndrome. Pay attention to how the scratching kind of pulse looks like in the cardio intervalogram. It is not a classic Hamsagati pulse which is very harmonious and beautiful in its nature and it is not a jumping Mandoka pulse. It is an, an arithmetical scratching type of pulse. Using Vasant Lad's three-point palpation system you would identify Vata as one, Pita as two and Kapha as three. The Veda pulse program would identify Pitta in the range of three or four and the Kapha in the range of 5 or 6. Vata would be near 1. Vega is going to be above 60 or even 65. Tala um, is elastic but arrhythmic, typical for Kapha Vikriti. Bala is strong, typical for Pitta Vikriti. Tapamana, digestion fire is slacken. Manda Agni in excess of Kapha Pitta and Sama Agni in balanced Kapha Pitta. Scatteragram dots show dependence of the current cardiac cycle from the previous one. In a person with syndrome of blood stagnation, there is a diffuse scattering of dots. The spread is not very much wide, but it is clearly seen that there is no single spot. Now look at the rhythmogram of a person of Kapha Pitta Vikriti in balance. There would be such, uh, there would be no such scatter of values that was in the pre previous picture. This pulse is more of a Hamsagati pulse, but it is still of a scrapping nature, and it would be quite noticeable that this scatterogram is more framed. Bioenergy in blood stagnation syndrome. You'd see that the total level of bioenergy is remarkably high. It would be 140 up to 160 percent. But there would be always tension in the channel of spleen, which is about above 10 percent, and blood stagnation would take place in this channel and the corresponding organs. What health measures should be carried out to prevent those formidable problems that can start developing in a person? Traditional preventive methods would include remedial diet, thyta or herbal correction, acupressure of mm, biologically active points and marmas, and physiotherapy. General rules of the diet therapy must be f the following. There are three beneficial qualities that must be presented in the diet. First of all, it is beneficial to eat the food that moves the blood or increases vata dosha. It is bitter taste. Second, products that move the energy. Products that increase pitta dosha and those pr products are of a spicy taste. And the third thing is that the products uh, should create blood. It is sweet sour products uh, without the increase of kapha dosha. Also the person should exclude fats and sweets. 
I'll list the main products which would be the most beneficial for people of this type. In traditional Chinese uh, cuisine, uh, cuisine uh, kratigus fruit is used not only as a medical herb but also as a food additive uh, for prevention of blood stagnation. You can recommend such patients to add berries of critigus to cereal or make powder of it and use it as a spice. No, next product is green onions. Being spicy and warm at the same time, it stimulates movement of yana vata. It is recommended in a cold stenocardia. Cold angina pectoris is one of the variants of coronary heart disease that occurs when a person is placed in the cold where he begins to experience a giant attacks that are usually followed by the excessive uh, parasympathetic tone. Another perfect spice that might be added to different meals is cinnamon. It has a great warming effect which is great for cold kapha. Another product is dry, uh, dry red wine. Uh, nutritionists recommend it to patients with cardiac disorders. With its sore, spicy and sweet taste, it perfectly stimulates the movement of blood, which was noted by the specialists. Generally, it moves the permeability of the microcirculatory channel, it moves the blood, liquidates stagnation, warms up and provides permeability of collaterals. It should be taken as a medicine in small amounts for the prevention of the syndrome. In traditional Chinese medicine, they recommend yellow rice wine. It greatly stimulates blood circulation, dissipates cold and reduces pain, which are common to this constitutional type and it also improves vascular permeability. To continue speaking about Chinese traditions, it is common to use vinegar. There are certain provinces where grape uh, uh, varieties are grown from which vinegar is constantly made in China. Vinegar bottles sold, uh, are sold in supermarkets as lemonade. Dark rice vinegar or Shan Shi, uh, of Shanxi province is especially popular. Uh, the use of vinegar occupies a special place in the Chinese tradition. It is used for longevity and control of uh, Gerontogenesis. There is a certain type of sugar called red sugar. It is beneficial for elderly suffering from blood stagnation to intake green tea with a small amount of red sugar. As for herbal therapy in blood stagnation syndrome, we will focus on the gold standard of medical plants that are commonly recommended to patients with this syndrome worldwide. F the first plant of this golden standard is qi, the blood medicine. Chinese masters claim that energy is the commander of blood, it moves the blood. In the treat treatment of stagnation of blood, one needs to combine a medicine that would move the blood and the medicine that would move energy. And there is a special plant which is a part of the world standard of herbal medicine. It is called uh, Legisticum or Qi, the blood medicine. And it has the needed effect of moving both blood and energy. Traditional Chinese medicine claims that this plant is highly effective in headaches of any origin. It stimulates blood circulation in the female reproductive organs. It is preventive in the formation of stagnant tumors, uh, which is the main gynecological agent that moves the blood. Another plant is uh, Ligusticum chuansun. It is spicy, warm, so it moves the blood greatly. It is associated with liver, gall gallbladder and pericardial meridians. It is beneficial in stagnation of blood and qi in female disorders. It is also beneficial in stagnation of blood, uh, in traumatic injuries, in headaches of any origin, in chronic uh, cerebral circulatory insufficiency, but it is contraindicated in empty fire syndrome with bleeding. Another uh, herb is Basphalia carteri alibanum. It is spicy, hot, its uh, nature is kapha vata minus pita plus or neutral. It moves the blood, stops the pain, stimulates regeneration. Uh, it is helpful in stagnation of blood and stagnation of energy in female disorders. It also resolves seals and um, everything that is associated with the lymphatic tissue. 
Another important plant is saffron. Even three or four stigmas, uh, stigmas of the flower mixed uh, in one cup of hot water is enough to provide a great stimulation e effect. Its rasa is bitter, spicy and sweet. Uh, its gunas are snitha and lakhu. Virya is uh, heating and warm. It is, no, it is also known as a great aphrodisiac and rejuvenate, uh, rejuvenative remedy. Another beneficial plant is mira. It is great in moving the blood, especially in stagnation, um, if stagnation takes place in gastrointestinal tract. It is also effective in female reproductive disorders and traumas. If you see this plant in a herbal composition, you must realize that this herbal composition has a blood-moving effect. It is important to note uh, the plant that in traditional Chinese medicine is called Dan Shen uh, uh, or the Red Root. It, uh, it is a special plant that has a unique action. It doesn't only move the blood, but also nurtures or replenishes it. Few plants possess uh, both of those qualities. Dan Shen is also known for its ability to deal with excess of fire and inflammations. You will be highly surprised to find out the western name of the plant. And it is sage. It moves the blood, removes stagnation, nourishes blood and cools and uh, calms the spirit. It deals with uh, stagnation of blood in the pelvic organs followed by pain, stagnant pain in the digest digestive tract, stagnation of blood in traumatic injuries, stagnant heart pain in angina pectoris. Another beneficial herb is the herb of the female trigram kun. Trigram is a special way of expressing morphological sense, encrypted in the interaction of continuous lines. And one of the plants beneficial for females is Leonorus. It moves the blood, eliminates stagnation, it is diuretic, it reduces swelling, it deals with stagnation of blood and uh, stagnation of energy in female disorders, stagnation of blood in traumatic injuries, edema of various origins, stagnation of blood in the heart and angina. Another herb of the golden standard in medicine is core of of a peach or prunus vulgaris. It moves the blood, removes stagnation, moisturizes the intestine. It is of a laxative effect. It deals with blood stagnation in female disorders, energy stagnation in female disorders, also stagnation of blood in traumatic injuries and stagnant pain in digestive tract and seals. And American saffron uh, is also used in treatment of the syndrome. You can see its name in uh, Latin. It moves the blood, eliminates stagnation, it deals with stagnation of blood and stagnation of energy in female disorders, stagnation of blood and traumatic injuries, stagnant pains and seals in the digestive tract. Chinese masters uh, recommend eight treasures tea to move the blood. Its intake by people of constitution blood stagnation may be beneficial as a great preventive remedy for many diseases. You can see that it contains uh, uh, ginkgo leaves, uh, grass, clay, sage, the herb mother of motherwort, rosebuds, saffron, peaches, uh, um, mint leaves, green tea. Uh, if to drink the tea every day, you may become a long liver. Now let's talk about diseases caused by the syndrome. First of all, it is varicose veins of lower extremities. As a rule, varicose veins are the clear indicator of blood stagnation and usually may be traced in the family history. There are some uh, indirect cardiointervalogram criteria of tendency uh, to or presence or of well-expressed varicose. I wrote down uh, a certain code here, uh, 4 plus 9. 4 plus, uh, plus 9 is uh, the channels, the 4th uh, is a channel of spleen and the ninth is a channel of pericardium. Uh, pericardium. It is this combination of ch channels due to the fact that the spleen is associated with the primary element of the earth. It may indicate the tendency to development of the diseases especially if yin channels are added, such as the kidneys and liver channels, 8, 
and 12 accordingly. As for subdoshas, we pay special attention uh, to three of them. It is Vyanavata, which is supposed to be lowered, and problems with lower limbs very often involve Slishaka and Avalambaka Kapha. Let's see the main paths of herbal therapy for varicose veins. There are certain herbs that can be beneficial. Uh, these herbs have certain aim of action. For example, it can be uh, venatonin herbs such as critigus, uh, anticoagulant herb such as trifolium, for example, or tripolus, capillary strengthening herbs as calendula and rosa and larix, um, and uh, fibrinolytic herbs such as valeriana, and immunostimulating herbs uh, such as ardeola and aralia, for example. And you can also see on the right uh, the corresponding herbal drugs which contain the needed herbs. And one of the most beneficial herbs in treatment of varicose veins is uh, Esculus hippocastanum. Its rasa is Kashaya, Tikta, uh, Guna is Laku and Ruksha, uh, Virya uh, is Cold, Vipak is Kato, uh, its uh, nature is Kapha Pitta minus, which is uh, good for the syndrome, uh, Vata is neutral. It uh, has a special prabhava uh, as its uh, tonic for vessels and uh, it influence, influences rasa and rakta. Uh, it is associated with pericardium meridians and uh, one of the contraindications in big amount, in large amounts, it may be toxic. Here you can see clinical herbal composition, uh, which contains uh, Esculus hippocastanum fruit. Its nature, uh, as we already said, Capha Pita minus, which is great. Here you can also see Eleutherococcus synticosus rhizome, uh, Humulus lupus, cones, and Helichrysum arenarium but this herbal composition should be taken in the amount of 2 grams uh, per day. Uh, some modern drugs could also be recommended for varicose veins. Here you may, you may see some examples of them. It is Escuzan. It is a fruit extract of uh, Esculus hippocastanum. It increases the tone of venous vessels. Also, it is Eflazidium. It is a drug made of fruit of the hippocastanum. Uh, as well, you can see anavinol. It is a composite drug which is recommend, recommended in varicose veins and also such uh, and also other remedies, for example, such as venetan. And other modern drugs for varicose veins, it may be vena plant. It is a dry extract of chestnut fruits. It is applied with chronic venous insufficiency of the lower limbs. Also, it may be Detralex, uh, which is a mixture um, of diasmine flavonoids and hesperidine. It is applied with chronic venous insufficiency of the lower limbs and hemorrhoides. Uh, as well, we can take venal and uh, cyclo 3 fourth, which is a, a French remedy. One of the points that can be used in treatment of uh, varicose veins uh, is located on the palmar side of the wrist fold uh, from the thumb side between the tendons of the radial flexor of the hand and the long diverting muscle of the thumb. This point is called the Great Pool or Tai Yan. Uh, it is used uh, in all diseases of the cir circulatory system, including varicose veins, arthrosclerosis, and uh, endarthritis. Coronary heart disease is another disease of stagnation uh, of blood. Uh, at the age of 50 uh, and to 65, such an appearance that you see on the slide, uh, appearance of a person, is a very typical for Kapha Pitta type as a result of lifestyle of the person. Cardiac intervalogram indicators of cardiac heart disease in the Veda Pulse program. We will see the tension of the heart and pericardium channels. As for subdoshas, it is important to point out the combination of two subdoshas, which is important for diagnosis. It is Sadhaka Pitta and Vyanavata. 
It is uh, this very combination that can indicate a tendency to development of a coronary heart disease. Again, it is Sadha Kapita and Diana Vata. Main paths of herbal therapy in coronary heart disease. If you want, uh, if you really want to learn how to compose a herbal recipe, you must know the main rules. First of all, we divide plants according to different aims of action, or so-called medical vector of the plant. And the first action here you may see is antisclerotic, which doesn't mean the lowering of level of cholesterol, but obstruction of the processes of changes of the vascular wall in the direction of sclerosis. And also as here uh, in the table you may see some herbs such as uh, calendula, laminaria, rose hip, which has this antisclerotic effect, and herbal drugs which contain those herbs. Uh, next uh, go analgetics, and as stagnation and angina are usually followed by pains, and here you can see such herbs uh, such as peonia. Valeriana, Leonorus, and according herbal drugs. Uh, then go sedatives, as a neuro a neurosis uh, also occurs in the brain and it should be under control. And we can take it under control using such herbs such as Crotigus, uh, Mentha, Humulus, Leonorus again, uh, Scrutillaria. And you can see uh, the following herbal drugs which contain uh, those herbs. So it may be Leonorus infusion, Humorous infusion, for example, uh, Scrutillaria infusion, uh, Mint infusion, and Crotigus infusion. Cardiotonin uh, medicines and herbs. One must be uh, very much careful using those drugs as cardio stimulators, once taken wrong, can provoke infarct infection. So you can see the herbs again. Uh, we can see here at the knees, Convalaria, Leonorus, Crotigus, uh, Digitalis, and uh, also some um, infusions such as Leonorus infusion, uh, Crotigus infusion, Convalaria infusion. Uh, to prevent accumulation of excessive fluids, it is important to use medicines regulating water salt metabolism. And we can re regulate it uh, using. Uh, renal tea, uh, licorice, parcel, cowberry, artichoke, equisitum, uh, and as you can see the herbal drugs. Uh, next go um, uh, vasodilator vasil drugs which improve coronary blood flow. And you can see uh, such herbs here such as vinca and camomilla and menta. All of those are Latin names of herbs. And the last one of um, hypercholesterolinemic um, effect. And it can be calendula, laminaria, linum, rosa, uh, and uh, such remedies such calendula infusion and rose hip syrup for example. Here you can see clinical herbal composition in cor coronary heart disease and one of the main components is uh, Betula virucosa or uh, birch buds uh, in the uh, portion of 10 grams. Its nature is uh, Kapha Pitta minus Vata plus which is great for the syndrome. It is ideal for treat treatment of the syndrome. It contains essential oils, saponins, various tannins and antibiotics uh, which is uh, components of birch and they are widely used in the complex treatment of cardiac disorders especially of swellings of cardiac genesis. A buds of uh, Helichrysum arenarium stimulate uh, regulation of the regional blood flow of liver and reflexively move uh, the blood throughout the body. If the specialist is not willing to make a herbal composition himself, uh, he or she can use a wonderful drug uh, called Cardio Bliss. It contains uh, Terminale Arjuna, Elium Satium, uh, Philanthus Emblica, and uh, let's give some detailed description of the components. Uh, and uh, Rogagnata of, of this remedy is heart diseases of all kinds. 
it balances hemostasis, eliminates excessive tendency to thrombosis, and being a statin, it lowers the level of cholesterol. And now go to the elements. First element uh, is Terminale Arjuna. It stimulates blood circulation in the organs, has a pronounced cleansing, soothing, nourishing, stimulating and toning effect for heart. It's rogognata heart diseases of all kinds, uh, it balances hemostasis, eliminates excessive tendency to thrombosis. Having a stringent taste, dry and light quality, as well as cold energy, it is perfect for soothing kapha. It is recommended for majority of heart diseases. Another component is allium satium or, or garlic. As it has heavy and oily characteristics, one might think that it increases kapha. But having all the tastes except sour and being of a hot energy, it lowers kapha. Uh, its rasa is katu, tikta, uh, kasha is, uh, and kashaya and madhur. Mm. And uh, it has all the tastes except sore. It is beneficial for treatment of heart diseases, improves blood fluidity, reduces the level of cholesterol. Another component is uh, Inula Helenium, uh, and its another name is Elecampane. It is usually recommended to Kaphas as it helps to solve problems with cholesterol and has a strong anti-sclerotic effect. Another component is Camifora mucul or, or Gugulu. It is a great remedy which is uh, a, a cardioprotector and it reduces the level of cholesterol. This herb makes the whole herbal composition more powerful in terms of cholesterol control. Now let's talk about cerebral blood circulation disorders. It is another disorder associated with the syndrome of stagnation of blood. Uh, it is a violation of cerebral circulation, which is manifested by migraine, violation of uh, venous blood flow, which can eventually turn into acute violation of cerebral circulation. Indices of the time analysis. In the Vedapol's intervalogram, uh, you'd see a classic Kapha Pitta, manifesting as flat histograms and all the integral indices shifted down in the direction of the parasympathetic tone. Integral indices in acute violation of cerebral circula circulation or stroke. After the series of assessment you'd see that the indices has suddenly jumped up including tension index which has grown above 1,000 uh, of conventional units. Time analysis indices and acute violation of cerebral circulation. Uh, and flat histograms suddenly started shifting in the direction of vata dosha, which is not typical for this constitution. Mode amplitude uh, would grow over uh, um, 075 percent. This is a serious warning that the person will possibly get a cries. We have this client, uh, she is a specialist from Japan, and once she saved her friend's life, as once she noticed the similar dynamic in the Vedipal's program, and she immediately went with her friend to the hospital, where they were told that the patient had an acute danger of getting a stroke. Another beneficial plant here would be uh, Bacopa Manieri or Brahmi, if we're talking about uh, cerebral circulation. It has a unique prabhava. It is uh, a great brain toning and it's capable uh, to remove stagnation. Another uh, herb is Centella Asiatica. It can be a substitute for Bacopa Manieri. It has a positive effect on all three doshas. It also uh, successfully dealing with all that is called uh, vascular neuralgia and it prevents development of stroke. As was already noted, uh, the most dangerous complication for this uh, constitution type is a benign neoplasm, which unfortunately over time get transformed into malignant. These people have a tendency to development of lipomas, myomas and cysts. 
I will draw your attention to the drug which appeared relatively recently in the market. It is a certified medicine, Lymphacare of Trada. It contains a herb which uh, contains herbs which is not quite available on the, uh, I'm sorry, it contains a herb which is not quite available on its own in the market and usually may be found uh, only as a part of herbal composition. It is a Bauhinia or Kanchanra, a famous Ayurvedic medical plant. Uh, Kanchanara uh, has a unique action. It, it has a well-expressed capacity to heal inflammations, cysts, gland tumor, and uh, lymphadenitis. Its nature is uh, Kapha Pita minus and Vata plus, which is perfect for, for treatment of the syndrome. It also contains calcium, which allows to dissolve tumors, myomas, and cysts. Shilajit also is one of the components of Lymphacare. It has a special rejuvenating and anti-tumor effect. You can see that its rasa is katu, tikta and kashaya. It has bitter and astringent tastes and also spicy taste. In aromatherapy module, if, if to speak about effect of herbs in treatment of blood stagnation syndrome, it is of course important to mention herbal therapy and in aromatherapy module you can choose a certain problem within Kapha Pitta constitution such as for example varicose veins and compose a list of thyta recommendations and make an individual pendant that you give to the patient in order to improve blood circulation through stimulating uh, the brain structures and changes in the emotional state of the person. In particular, for Kapha Pitta constitution, orange oil has a great effect of stimulation of blood circulation. Extremely beneficial for this state would be Hypericum oil, which in addition has a great anti-inflammatory action. Uh, and the most important aroma oil here is uh, Musta. It is perfect for this uh, constitution type due to its nature Kapha Pitta minus Vata plus. Usage of this oil is helpful for uh, gynecological disorders, especially with the tendency of development of neoplasms. It relieves premenstrual syndrome, depression and irritability. It eases menstrual pain, eliminates blood stagnation and fluid accumulation. And some information on magical points that you can use as an additional method of treatment which you can carry out with the help of a Veda Pulse device or on your own. First point is uh, in general an important point in treatment of blood disorders of all types. It is called the Sea of Blood or Xiuhai. It is located in uh, one of the main places of blood formation, so it replenishes the blood, stimulates and moves it. Another important point is the diaphragm point or Ge Shu. Ge means diaphragm, Shu means point. It is located on the back in the area of diaphragm. On the, uh, it is one of the eight focus or concentration or centralization points located on the bladder channel. It is a blood concentration point. It is universal for the treatment of all blood diseases. Another point is the supporting middle or Weizhong. It is located in the center of the uh, palatial fossa, in the center of the band when bending the knee. It moves the blood, cools the skin, brings heat, restores patency of collaterals. Working with this point can have a toning effect on the valve apparatus of the veins. It is analog in Ayurveda is Indra Basta Parma. It is located a bit lower than the supporting middle point. It is located in the center of the calf muscle. As Chinese masters say, it is a door to the vascular stream. It controls Apanavata, Vyanavata, Ranjakapita and Sadhakapita. It improves circulation in the lower limbs, relieves pain, removes swelling, regulates menses, improves intestinal motility. There is also an equivalent of such points uh, located in arms. It is the swamp at the inside of the forearm or chi jia. It is located in the elbow fold at the radial side of the tendon of the biceps muscle of the shoulder. 
It moves the blood, removes heat and stagnation from lungs. Its analog is Bahu in Indrabastra Marma. Uh, it has the same location and it opens the venous outflow not only from the veins of the upper extremities but also from the torso. Another unique point is called Wushu or the central pivot. It has one of the most powerful reflex effects in stagnant reproductive disorders in women because it perfectly stimulates the reflex blood flow in the pelvic organs. Its analog in Ayurvedic tradition is Lahita Marma. It is located on the medial side of the upper wing of the pelvic bone. It regulates blood flow in the pelvic organs. It is used in treatment of female disorders, lymph edema, thrombophlebitis. I'm sorry. Uh, it can be influenced uh, through acupressure and massage with Mahanarayan oil. Let's check other modules that can strengthen your expertise. One of them is the reflexotherapy module. You can provide a recipe for reflexotherapy and acupressure to be carried out at home. It is important to provide profound and careful recommendation to the patient. Once the patient feels care and sees that all the points are selected thoroughly, he or she will be willing to follow the recommendations. Sometimes it is the doctor's responsibility when the patient doesn't follow the recipe. Additionally, you can use a physiotherapy module. It is an apparatus reflect, uh, reflexotherapy. Physiotherapy module um, is a well uh, is well structured and provides the recipes which are highly balanced. Here you can see the example. Physiotherapy module or RICTA uh, is also useful as an, uh, for additional rehabilitation influence. Massage module. This module is to be used with your patients as a homework. You can print out the scheme of food uh, and the scheme of foot massage and give certain guidelines for the use of this recipe at home to affect the biologically active zones. Reflex influence of the feet can greatly enhance the effectiveness, the effectiveness of your therapy. Uh, and here with the therapy module, this module has been designed in the way so that you could use the unique method of setting medical leeches. We can say that for Kapha people, uh, during the therapy should be in the first place among methods of treatment. The ability to use this method is 50% of success in the treatment of this syndrome. This method is especially effective for women with congestive diseases with nail plasms and secretion of leeches greatly stimulates and moves the blood, breaks stasis and resolves seals. It is time to draw a conclusion. The pre prevention and treatment of Kapha Pitta blood stagnation syndrome with deficiency of Yanavata, uh, we can see uh, what methods we can use here. We try to harmonize the nature of the person using the diet therapy module. We exclude fats and sweets from ration. We use herbs that stimulate a move and replenish energy, the herbs that stimulate uh, and move the blood. We use the medicines which have a strong preventive effect for deadly states and disorders for people in their 40s and 50s. Uh, we can use Cardio Bliss, Brahmi, Goto Cola, clinical herbal composition containing herbs that move the blood. You can additionally use aromatherapy. Uh, I remind you about orange oil, Hypericum and uh, Musta. Also, Hiruda therapy is also directly recommended for this constitution type. The specialist should also know unique points according to traditional Chinese medicine and their Ayurvedic analogs, the points that would stimulate the energy circulation. And of course, one should use acupressure and physiotherapy module. Dear friends, thank you for your attention. Here you can see our contacts. See you in the next lecture. Goodbye.